Today is the 2nd of February 2021. Uh, all cinemas, not only in the Czech Republic, are closed, but uh, we have a nice opportunity to watch uh, a very broad collection of films of uh, Dushan Hanak. Uh, all these films were originally meant for the uh, big screen which is not available these days, so we have to look very closely from this uh, uh, short distance uh, from our uh, screens and uh, maybe find new perspectives how to, uh, how to watch um, uh, these films which are very uh, broad in terms of the genre, length, philosophy and so on. Uh, Dushan Hanak uh, studied at FAMU, the film school in Prague, and uh, that was in the early 1960s, at the time when uh, FAMU was uh, very open for the students from so-called third world, uh, but mainly the, the students from Slovakia, which was at that time obviously part of Czechoslovakia, were expected to bring something of a uh, you know, local uh, folklore and uh, almost rural traditions. Uh, but Hanak was uh, just the opposite. He was an urban intellectual who uh, was very critical and always trying to grasp what was uh, beyond the visible uh, reality. So this is why his uh, own film writing, film style is always so uh, original and, uh, and surprising. Uh, the films of Dushan Hanak are uh, quite easy to understand, to follow, because they are internationally uh, understandable. And uh, as uh, every um, you know, strong author, he communicates with his audiences on uh, different uh, layers. Uh, I think there are uh, at least uh, three significant layers which uh, can make the understanding of uh, Hanak's work easier. The first one is uh, the um, relationship or maybe conflict between the uh, the uh, home and foreign, between uh, appropriate and non-propriate. Uh, this is something that uh, uh, allowed Hanak to show the, uh, the human destiny as uh, an absurd experience, which is a typical, uh, say, philosophical, sociological approach of the 1960s. But uh, Hanak later on developed this uh, approach in a much uh, broader and deeper uh, context. The second layer uh, concerning Hanak's work is, uh, um, uh, can be seen in the relationship between guilt and punishment. Uh, if we watch the, uh, the good example of this uh, home and foreign in his short film Old Shatterhand came to see us, we can see the continuation of it and the new layer is guilt and punishment, mainly in his film 322, which was apparently his most successful film in the, uh, in the end of the 1960s, at the time when um, the whole film industry, uh, as the whole culture and the whole country of Czechoslovakia was closing down because of the, uh, the new political realities of uh, post-1968. And uh, the third layer, which I uh, find mo very, uh, very uh, interesting, is uh, also kind of visible uh, in all his films, and that's the relationship between individual and collective. Something that uh, we know from uh, other films from the 1960s, if you only remember the early films of Miloš Forman of, or Vera Kicilova, this, uh, uh, this tension between individual human being and collective collectivity is something that uh, uh, kind of speaks for the, uh, for the time of the, uh, of the 1960s and this uh, wake of uh, conscience. Speaking of conscience, I think this is uh, something that um, we can follow throughout the whole oeuvre of, uh, of Hanak, no matter if his films are labelled fictional or non-fictional. Uh, it's always conscience, be it conscience of the characters, conscience of the society, which are visible, which, can be, which speak to us uh, from the stories, from the screen, but also conscience of the, of the audience. Hanak is never making any judgments, but he always is asking uh, questions through which he does not manipulate uh, his stories and his relationship with his audience, but questions which are uh, relevant and important because of the uh, moral subtext or, or moral content of, uh, of such uh, discourse. Uh, 
probably the most complex uh, film, uh, which consists of all these uh, three layers and many more apparently, is his uh, final film, The Paper Hats, which um, is showing not only the uh, kind of uh, symbolically the, the history or the experience of uh, uh, our society with the totalitarian regime, it also in the new situation of the early 1990s is uh, uh, posing new questions of, uh, of freedom, a freedom which is never obvious uh, nor easy. <laughs> Keby som chcel, mohol by som aj lietať. Nemáš krídla. Čo je pišta? Vypadal som z rýchlika. Mám skočiť? Mám? Pošli ju preč. Počuješ? Na pani v černom kabáte. Áno vy, vráte sa. Povedzte mi, čo má v živote cenu? V živote cenu? Veselosť. Vy nie ste spokojní. Už pouze prihlížim. Ani už zasahujem. Pozorujem. Pozorované si pamatujem. A obklopujem ich.